Big Fight Live is back. British boxing star Josh Kelly continues his world title pursuit. And he stops it! Against Argentina's Lucas Bastida. This is a future world champion. In a battle for the WBO International Super Welterweight crown. Don't miss all the action as Championship Boxing returns live in The Big Fight Live, Kelly vs. Bastida, Saturday at 10 on Channel 5. This is Matt for Into Boxing. I'm delighted to be joined once again by the heavyweight, Jose, Jose, talk to me. How are you feeling? It's a bit of a back and forth. You don't normally get someone giving you a bit of stick. We've had an interesting press conference, a bit of an interesting weigh in. Talk to me, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling ready, more than prepared. The real hard work's been done. I can just enjoy myself Saturday night. Absolutely. Do you like the bit of the aggro that's happened this week? You know, because normally you've just got fighters coming in and you know yourself you didn't to do damage, but this guy's had a few words to say yesterday, tried to poke a little bit, and now he's got to live up to that and back it up on Saturday night. Is that, does that help you a little bit? Does that get you revved up even more? Yeah, 100%. Man. Like, like I said in the, pre um, in the press there, uh, Keep that same energy. Saturday night, when you ain't got no, when you ain't sat behind the table and the microphone protecting you. Yeah. yeah we'll see what you're saying then, but um, I'm used to it, man. All oh, that was Charles playing. You know I'm saying, it's yeah. a baby talk. <laughs> I've, had, I've had some real pressure put on me, and I deal with it perfectly fine. So, yeah, this is all enjoyment, man. Absolutely. Forget about the light. I'll sort that out after. Um, yeah. What do you expect him to bring? Like you said, he has talked himself up. Mass, you know, in that press conference, like all you, I suppose all you're supposed to do that, and he's going to back himself. But what, what do you expect him to come and try and do? Yeah, the only thing that he can do is come forward and try and let his hands go. But um, when you got something kind of receiving in, it don't quite work out like that. So um, yeah, he, he can bring what he wants to bring. I've got many things on my locker. Yeah, now you've got very quick hands for for a heavyweight. What do you think happens on Saturday? Do you think It'll just be a case of you'll be too, too quick for him. Do you think you'll be able to stop him? What, what in your mind? How do you see this fight playing out? Um, there's a few ways it could play out, to be honest. Um, you know, um, the result of this fight all comes down to me. Yeah. How I approach the fight. It goes on points. Am I going to box him? Am I going to just pressure him? Am I going to bring him onto shots and knock him out? We'll see. You know, um, if he does what he normally does, yeah, he's, he's in for a rude awakening. Man. Do you just adapt on the fly in there at times, you know, and just assess the situation? I know trainers, coaches, they come in with game plans and they're like, right, we'll pressure him early, get him out of there late, or we get him out there in a round, or get the rounds in. Do you, are you someone who's just like, well, see what happens in the first, and sort of get your way through it and just adapt to who's in front of you? Yeah, well, like, um, we follow the game plan, but like you say, things change, you know. Um, he, even though we've seen what he does, he might come in and try a box. Then I got to adapt to that, and then that, that changes what I'm going to do. Um, but you know, like I said, I've got many things in my life. I've experienced many guys like himself, yeah. and I beat them, so I know what to expect, and you know, I've got to go about my business. I can't imagine you're going to have to look far for him, if I'm being honest. I, yeah. can't, I don't think you're going to be chasing shadows around the ring, trying to, trying to get hold of him. I think it'll, you'll both meet and come to a head. How would, you, how would you assess your pro career so far? You're a few fights in now. Um, different pressures, different stages. How do you how do you how do you think you've gone on so far? Um, all right, to be honest, you know the main thing is getting the wins and the experience, yeah. dusting off the cobwebs, you know, trimming down a little and just yeah. you know just build, building, building. It's all about progression. Um, I'm at the start of my career. Yeah. I plan to be here for many years and at the highest level. So um, it's all about learning at this stage. Um, it's been okay, not up to my standards, yeah. but um, this is where I pull it right. Obviously, on Saturday night and show a big difference from the last yeah. fights. As long as I'm improving each fight, getting the wins, that's all that matters to me. Yeah, you mentioned trimming down. You did look, for me today, you looked a bit trimmer than you have done in the past. Is that something you're working on by, as each fight, each camp, trying to, trying to, trying to I suppose, shed more weight? Or is, is what, what's, what's the plan with that? Or is it just get, finding you at where you're most comfortable? Um, and that, yeah, most comfortable, but um, just going through the camp, doing what needs to be done, eating clean, making sure my nutrition's on point, yeah. everything else will fall in place, you know. Um, yeah. You know, I've been training with my coach now about five weeks. Yeah. He's put me through my paces, done everything that needs to be done in terms of boxing. And it showed on the scales and um, yeah. show, it's going to show on my performance as well. You know, we just get in the gym, stay in there, do what we need to do. And then um, go home and then do the rest. 
Now we've sort of spoke to death about who you sparred with and all this sort of stuff because you've sparred a who's who and everyone always talks about Anthony Joshua this, Anthony Joshua that whenever they speak to you. So I'm going to try not to go too far into that. But what I want to know is what's your sparring been like for this fight? Who have, you been, have you been in with any notable names, got some rounds, got some good experience? Who have you been sparring with? Oh, um, yeah, sparring this camp has been the best. It's been the top class one because um, I've just been getting non-stop rounds with Fraser Clark and um, a few other good heavyweights around the Midlands yeah. as well. That are, you know, they're hungry guys, man. So it's good to get in there with live people. They've got skills, you know, they've got power, they're fit. So it's able to just take them from here yeah. right to the top one. So, um, yeah, you just got to really show that experience and just love it. And it's been good. Another heavyweight on this stable, um, a bit like yourself, young lad coming through very early on in his career, Matty Harris as well. Um, have you ever sparred him? Have you ever had a move around with Matty? Yeah, we've had plenty, you know. Um, yeah. We've had quite a few over the years, actually, when we, when we was both amateurs. Yeah. And when we turned, well, basically for our whole pro career, because we turned over around the same time. So, you know, we, got, we get plenty of rounds in again as well, so that's good. Another local guy. But, you know, both, both of us want to go in there and just improve. Yeah. The simple as that, so it's that again, that's good sparring. You see, he's called me out, and I've told him he didn't want this smoke. <laughs> I've told him he has to go elsewhere for it. You think I'm the A side, he has to come to me. What what chance would you give me of planting him on his ass? Because I think he's coming Saturday. So I've said to him, Look, if you want it, you can have it. <laughs> Forget the height difference, we'll do one minute rounds for my stamina, <laughs> and the rest will leave up to his hands. What do you think? Just aim for the knee capsule. You think I could put it on him? Yeah, man. Aim for the new cap to your game. <laughs> I hope you're listening to this. Hey, fellow heavyweight, I'm telling you, Matt, as soon as you come Saturday, it's on. <laughs> I'll remind him, man. I'll remind him. <laughs> nah, please don't. I'll send him this interview. <laughs> um, anything else? Have you got anything else you want to let us know? Um, any sponsors? You see, you're like a human billboard at the minute. you got a few more on. Well, i got loads on the back, but, you know, if I walk a gym, that's my amateur club. Um, Ultimate Fantasy match. Yeah. They've been supporting me. Flip. Perfect prep. Sorting out all my meals, making sure that I'm getting lean and strong. Carrots yeah. and kettles as well. So supporting the journey. MH Sports Therapy. They've been sorting me out. You know, they see all my pop in. Yeah. Just make sure she's helping me out. Manning's. Manning's my coach. Dog Father. Come on. <laughs> Team. Whoa. Medicine Bakery. Jeez. Gym Genetics. That's a, uh, I think you've got that. Yeah, the Godfather Brum or the Dogfather yeah. Brum. Uh, <laughs> so now you know. you've got plenty. Of, you've got plenty of support. How much is that like a relief? Because when boxers do this, you see it all the time. It's hard or they work another job. So to have sponsors on board who are backing you, does that take a bit of pressure off? You just mentioned there about your meal preps and stuff like that. Yeah. Is it like, is it a good feeling to know that you can get on with your job because they're giving you that backing? Yeah, huge, and that's why this camp's been such a success. Um, just literally just been able to focus on training. Get up, get to the gym, yeah. train for a few hours, go home, eat. You know, my meal's already prepped, I ain't even got to think, what am I eating or have I got this or have I defrosted? You know, you know it's just straight going home, having X, Y, Z, yeah. rest a little, straight back to training. You know, it's good. Um, you know, I've, I've felt that way where you're working and training and fighting. I used to do it as an amateur before, I won the GB championships. I'd be up at six out on the road running for two hours and training in the park to get straight back, get washed and ready, straight to work. What Finish did you it. do? What did you do? Yeah, I worked at the cinema and at the gym at the same time. Did you? Yeah, so as soon as I'd finished from the cinema at five, head over to the gym, take my class, and then I'd, I'd box straight after that. Eat, sleep, <laughs> and do the same again. Man. So it was just chaos from six in the morning till 11, 12 at night. It was just on the go, man. It was good, it worked out, because obviously I won, but yeah. Um, you know, it's horrible, man, when you, you don't get a minute to sit down and you're just on the go, on the go, from one job to the other and then yeah, straight yeah. to training. So, um, you know, it's character building. you got you got to love, the, love those uh, moments because then this is what makes these opportunities special mm-hmm. and why you can't let them slip. Did you always knew you wanted to be a boxer from young? Was it something that was ingrained in you or was it part of your lifestyle where you've either been through stuff that, you know, just mentally builds you for it? What sort of got you to this point, like, what, what's that sort of character built from? Yeah, many factors, you know, um, you know, all through my family, everyone loves boxing, we, all, we always used to have all the big fights, and I remember I was about three or four, and all the family was around there, and watching Lennox Lewis's last fight, and you know, all my uncles were telling me how big this was, and they are saying, you know, that's going to be you, 
And I just thought, yeah, boxing, boxing. I used to play fight night and knockout kings, and I just thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll see. But um, yeah, I've, I've always wanted to box. I just didn't know, I didn't know that there was amateur gyms yeah. and that any and anyone could go in there. for you know, you don't I, know I, do you, until you yeah, know. I thought you just had to, it just had to, just happen. <laughs> but um, yeah, a few other times, uh, my cousin brought me to the gym the first time when I was 15. And I loved it, you know, I went, I went training with him about six, seven times, but it's quite a distance away because it was in the next city. Yeah. So, um, you know, kind of just knocked on the head and I was young and many other things going on. So that kind of slipped away. Then I remember not long before I turned 18, you know, my friend started boxing. And I was like, come down to the gym with me, man. He's like, let's, let's get on it. And I was just like, you know, you know, we'll give it a go. So I told my mum, I was like, look, I'm going to box. She didn't want me to initially. Yeah, and yeah. Then, you know, she was just like, ah, oh, they're going to use you. And, Dunking, <laughs> <laughs> dunking, you know. Talking about all the films and how they're gonna rip you off and just throw you in, like lamb for slot. And I'm like, look, I don't think it works like that, you know. There's Olympic boxing. I found out about England boxing. I found out that you have management that sorts it out and yeah, you have your coaching time, team. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it's not all bad. Yeah, some people still get ripped off, but as long as you do everything right, it's just any old business, you know what I'm saying? But um, so yeah, that that kind of pushed me into think, all right, then this is real. It can happen. I just got to do it. So um, yeah, we started from there. Many fights outside of the ring that prepared you for this that you can tell us or yeah, too a much, few scuffles. Too much, man. But um, yeah, I'm undefeated on the rose, and I'm happy to oh. say that. <laughs> As your headline, look, Jose, I appreciate you giving us some of your time. Um, final one from me, just before I leave this off. What happens Saturday night? I get the win point blank, but looking for a devastating performance. Brilliant. Look. Looking forward to seeing you and appreciate your time. We'll catch up straight after the fight. Yeah, most appreciate it, man. Thank you.